How's it going everyone? In this video I'm going to share 7 useful Canva tricks you should know. By the end of this video you'll learn tricks to help you speed up your workflow, stay organised and at the end I'll share some news about the Canva marketplace so you can potentially sell your designs online. I'll put timestamps in the description to make it easier for you and let's get straight into it. Tip 1. Drag images straight onto the page. This one will save you a ton of time just drag an image and drop it onto your page and it will appear. Now you can edit it as usual. No need to open up the upload media button if you already know where it is. Tip two, add a comment. So as you can see next to the page, there's a speech bubble. Just click on it and then you can type in comments. This is useful if you have a team of people working on your designs. So what I could say is change background image I can even tag different team members so I can tag myself here this person will be notified I'll click comment and then that comment will be next to the page so everyone can see then anyone can reply will do tip three is the content planner so this is something I haven't been using much lately but I'm starting to use a lot more now with Canva, you can create, plan and schedule social media posts across your favorite platforms. This is useful if you're producing a lot of content and want to schedule it on a day-to-day -day basis. So in order to use it, go back to your design, click on share. Then at the bottom, there's a button called share on social. Click on that and then you can see all the platforms where you can share your design. Now on the bottom right hand corner, there's a button called schedule. Now it has a crown in the top right hand corner and this means it's a Canva Pro feature. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to sign up. This will give you access to a free trial so you can test it out before you buy it. I have Canva Pro and I highly recommend it. So once you click on schedule, it will open up a calendar. You can just select any date, click next and then here you can select your channel. So if you click select a channel, you can connect any of these platforms to your Canva account. I'll select Twitter and then click connect Twitter. Then you have to authorize the app. Once that's authorized, it will appear in the drop down menu here. As you can see, I've got a little logo and there's a Twitter logo on the top. Then you can select which page you want and write in the caption what you want to appear in your post then click schedule and it will be done. This is super useful if you're posting content regularly on different platforms. Tip number four is to add a white border around an image. So you might see this quite a lot on YouTube thumbnails. What I'll do is I'll select this image while it's already open. I'll remove the background just so that we have a PNG of the image. I'll use Canva's built-in background removal tool to do this. This is only available on the Canva Pro version. However, you can upload your own backgroundless PNG if you have one. Once that's done, I'll click apply. Now what I'll do is change the background image to black and then just center the image. Now I want to add a white border. So I'll click on edit image and then scroll across to find shadows. Then I'll click on glow and the glow effect will be added. We can't see it just yet because it's in black on a black background so we need to change the color but if you click on the button again you'll be able to see controls now i can change the color by clicking this color box and changing that to white then i can change the transparency to 100 percent so it's clearly visible and i'm also going to adjust the blur down to zero so that we have a hard white line around the image. I'll also increase the size to make the border slightly thicker. You can make it really thick or make it slightly more thinner. You can even change the colors if you wish. You can have a blue border. I'll have a white one and then click apply. And once you deselect the image, it will be applied. Now you can resize it and it will resize with the image and the border will stay there. Tip five is Canva's free online PDF editor. So you can edit PDFs for free using Canva. As you can see, you just drag in a PDF and it will convert the PDF into an editable Canva document. You can then change the text, change the images, 
change the backgrounds or colors. I'll show you how to do that now. So what I'll do is click start using PDF editor. This will open up the home page and the upload section. What I'll do is just move the browser across. Then I'll click upload here and I've got a couple PDFs here. I'll show you this one. I'll just click and drag that onto there. It will take a few minutes to work its magic. Once it is uploaded, I'll just click on it and then we'll be able to see what it looks like. There, looks okay. I'll just zoom in. Let me see if it's working. As you can see, just as I'm hovering over it, all the elements are selectable. So I've got the title here. I've got this paragraph here, this top paragraph. It looks like everything has uploaded correctly. I'm just hovering over the different elements. This list here, I can click on it and move it around. The title, I can double click on it. And as you can see, the cursor is selectable. So now I can add text to it and it adds text in the same font. If I select the background, I can also change the color. So I'll just click on the gray background, click on the color box, change that to orange. So that's perfectly editable. I can change it to white. What I'll do is I'll move it back to gray so that you can see. So another thing you can do is highlight text. So I can highlight this title, for example, and then add a link to it. So what I'll do is here it is, click the link, and then I can type the URL of any web page. So I can type my one and webseb.com and that would add a hyperlink to that text in the PDF image. And then I can add images or photos to this however I want. So there you go, that's the Canva PDF editor. Another little known Canva feature is the graph maker. Here you can create custom charts or diagrams in minutes. This is useful for data visualizations or to make infographics. So to open up the graph maker, go to canva.com forward slash graphs and then click on create my graph now. Here it says, do you need help choosing the right graph type for your project? I'll click help me choose a graph type and it will display different types of graphs. What I'll do is click on trends and then I'll click on bar graph and it will come up with lots of different templates. So you can start from scratch and design your own or choose one of these pre-made templates. I'm going to choose this template and then it's going to open up on a new in a new Canva document. So when you click on the chart, a new slide out will appear here. This is where you can edit the data or make changes to the settings. I'm going to click back on the data. So the data tab is like a mini spreadsheet and you can edit it by selecting the different cells. So I can change the figures here. I can change the labels here. You can add or delete columns or rows by right clicking and click insert column, or you can right click and click insert row. Likewise, you can do the same for deleting it. You can also clear the data here. I want to keep the data, so I'll leave it there. You can also import data from Google Sheets at the bottom and then that would put the data in here. If you click on the drop down menu at the top, you'll be able to see different chart types. So if I wanted to change it from a bar chart to a row chart, it will change the direction. Likewise, you can change that to a pie chart if you wish. So this drop down gives you all the options you want to adjust the chart. You can also change the colors here, change the fonts. Also, if it was back on the, um, if I click on that, click back to bar chart, you can also change the column spacing or the roundness. That's how to make charts in Canva. If you make infographics or want to add simple charts to your marketing, then this is useful to know in case you need it in the future. Tip seven, apply to become a Canva creative and sell your designs directly on Canva. So I just came across this Canva creators page and it looks like Canva are building a marketplace where you can sell templates through a storefront. This could be like an Etsy competitor, but just for Canva templates and designs. As the notification says at the top, 
Canva Creators is in beta. We are currently onboarding a small group of creators in select countries to help us make the program the best it can be. If you'd like early access, please register your interest. If you've been selected, you'll receive an email. Otherwise, you'll be notified when we officially launch. So in order to apply, just click Become a Creator. And this page will appear. It says Be Creative, Earn with Canva. And you can apply to become a Canva creator. So there you go. This was news to me. So if you're good at making stunning Canva templates and you think people will buy your templates, this could be a good way to make money in the future. They've just launched this program. I mean, by the time you watch this video, this page may have been taken down. It's just something to keep an eye on. There you go, seven useful Canva tricks you may not have heard of. If you want other time-saving tricks, check out this video I made, 22 Canva tips and tricks. It's super useful for beginners and all the tips work on a free version of Canva. If you found this video useful, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.